Good morning, this is Angela with Park Rose Permaculture. I'm in my dad's garden here in Portland, Oregon, zone 8B, one block away from my house. My schedule right now involves a lot of time being up here, so there will be uh, a lot more videos from this location about permaculture. So today I thought I would talk about the power of being a beginner in permaculture which may sound like a strange topic because I've been doing permaculture for 20 years. It's been a long time since I was a beginner, but I really feel like it's an important topic because I see an, a lot of uh, comments or concerns that folks are new to it and they don't know what they're doing and they're concerned about making mistakes. And so I thought this is a good opportunity to encourage you that if you are a beginner in permaculture, that is an awesome place to be. So I have been looking back through a bunch of my really old YouTube videos and I had an ancient camera phone and no skills at all. And um, it's been a really interesting learning curve for me. I'm not very technology oriented and learning to use editing software and uh, learning about microphones and cameras and uh, uploading things to YouTube and like all of that has been a big learning curve for me. So I look back at my early videos and think, oh, they are terrible. Um, the, content is good in terms of there's a lot to learn from them but they aren't particularly appealing and the more that I make videos and the more repetition that I have the better the quality is I used to not appear on camera at all I don't like being on camera I don't want to be the focus of these videos I want permaculture to be the focus but I've realized that if I'm on camera it connects with people better and is more interesting than just a shot of a plant but it took a process for me to get there to where I improved some of my quality and I'm always improving. I have a long way to go. I am by no means a cinematic expert. In fact, I feel like a lot of times people leave comments on my channel where they are expecting some polished, professional, highly produced television show. And I'm a homeschool mom of four children uh, farming on a quarter acre. But that's okay. It's okay to be new at something. And so like I look back at my old videos and I think these were terrible, but I was really earnest and I was learning and I can watch the progression of the quality of the videos. But it doesn't mean those early videos don't have value. And it doesn't mean that the process to get from where I was then to where I am now, kind of like an intermediate uh, level to hopefully improving my quality in the future, that journey has value. So I thought the same thing is true for permaculture. The journey of permaculture has value. And there's a song sparrow, I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, so in, in permaculture, I feel like there are seven reasons why it's really good to be a beginner. So the first one is, it's, it's good for your brain to engage in a new activity. It's good for your brain to, uh, for you as an individual human, to learn a new skill, to learn the design process of permaculture. It's good for you and your brain to learn any new skill, but particularly permaculture, because I have found that in doing permaculture, the way I view the whole world has changed. I view everything through a lens of the 12 principles and three ethics of permaculture design. I view everything now as interconnected and how my actions here have repercussions over here. For me, I feel like permaculture, not only the act of learning something new and being new at it is good, but the act of specifically learning permaculture helps reshape your brain and reshape the way you perceive the world in a really positive way, in a really connected way that helps build all of those um, webs and links um, in the way you perceive the world and in the way you think about things. And I think it's really good to start on that journey of building that connectedness in your brain. Number two, permaculture is really highly complex, y'all. It seems like it's really simple on the surface and I try and break it down and make it simple. That doesn't mean that it's not complex. So uh, it keeps you really humble, I think, to start on the journey of learning permaculture. It helps you realize that there is so much that all of us have been kept ignorant about, about how ecosystems work, how living things relate to each other, how trees communicate with each other, how our actions as humans have uh, influence in ways we cannot perceive, how our actions as humans and how corporations' actions and governments' actions impact ecosystems and impact other communities of people and impact our personal lives. So it helps you see 
not only that everything around you is so much richer and deeper, but it also helps you realize that while you are an individual, a unique individual, that um, the scale of the real world and the scale of the network of connections and uh, ecosystems keeps you humble and keeps you in your place. So yeah, I think it's good to be new at permaculture because you're just starting to understand your insignificance in terms of uh, you know the grand scale of time and ecosystems, but also just to realize there's so much you don't know yet and what an opportunity to start to learn really complicated things. Number 30, being new in permaculture means you have an opportunity to grasp a passion and run with it. And I, 20 years later, am still incredibly enthusiastic about permaculture, uh, probably embarrassingly so, but when you are new at something, that new flame of passion is such a great thing to feel and to start diving in and feeling like every rabbit hole of permaculture sparks a new interest sparks a new um, topic that you want to explore within the whole concept that's a really exciting place to be and it feels really good to be um, having that passion increase and increase and your motivation to want to learn more and do better be increasing that's a really positive thing number four I mentioned this briefly earlier, but permaculture is an adventure. And when you are starting to learn about permaculture, you are starting on an adventure toward not only sustainability, but regeneration, toward beauty and abundance. And so like, think about all the anticipation when you were getting ready to go on a big trip or start a new exciting project. Permaculture is that way. There are so many possibilities open to you when you are new at it and you are first beginning. And that's a, that's a great place to be. I, I think back to when I first started planning the site that I'm on now, 13 years ago, and how it was just a blank canvas and all possibilities were open to me and it was a great adventure that I was starting on. So that's exciting if that's the place that you're at. Number five. Being new at permaculture, being a beginner, is a chance to connect with other people. When we are hungry for knowledge, expertise, advice, we often reach out to people with more experience than us. Having this YouTube channel, I have connected with so many people who want to learn about permaculture, people who have more experience than me and who, from whom I want to learn about permaculture, people who have very different systems set up in very different biomes than me, that I want to learn from and then I've connected with a lot of people who are really new at permaculture and they um, are forging those bonds of community of people care of social permaculture in their attempts to learn about regenerative design so that's exciting builds community okay number six when you are new at permaculture you bring a unique perspective to all of us oldsters who've been doing it for a real long time fresh energy, fresh blood, fresh motivation, fresh eyes on a situation brings so much to the community. So when I talked a moment ago about building community and connections when you're new, that benefits not only you, but it benefits those of us who can sometimes become entrenched in our own mindsets and our patterns of behavior. You bring a fresh perspective and that's super, super valuable. So it benefits not only you, it benefits all of us, when you are new to permaculture and you want to connect with people. All right, lastly, number seven, we learn through failure. Being new at something gives you the opportunity to fail real hard. It gives you the opportunity to not be an expert, to not be embarrassed by your failures and to embrace the process of failing and trying again. Permaculture talks about slow, small solutions. It talks about how we need to take our time and how we need to apply self-regulation, apply feedback, and learn to do better. We can't do that without the process of making mistakes, without trying some little new project and it going real sideways, trying a fruit tree in our orchard and it fails miserably like my apricots trying something, observing, using the permaculture principle, observe and interact, observing what went south, what went wrong. And then after observing and observing and observing, taking what you have gained 
and applying it so that you can do better next time. I have had so many failures in my garden early on and so many things that I am now fixing that I m messed up in the beginning that now that I have more expertise, I know like, ew, that didn't work so great. But even early on, I had immediate failures that I was able to recognize and learn from. So much like mother nature does, we learn through failure. We learn by experimenting and watching the outcome and then applying changes to our site based on experiential learning. So how exciting to be at a place where you are new at permaculture, where you can just dive in and really embrace those concepts of observe and interact, of applying slow, small solutions, and then observing what happens with those slow, small solutions. And then, my neighbor's pheasant scared me. Um, and then, taking those experiences where we fail or we have successes and building on them by applying the feedback and making changes. So I hope that gives you a little bit of encouragement that you don't need to feel uh, discouraged or embarrassed or um, feel like it's such a long road ahead and you'll never get to the arrival of your destination of permaculture. There is no destination, it is the journey. So how exciting to be at a place in your permaculture journey where you are new, where you bring so much energy, where you bring so much um, vitality, a unique experience, and you're just starting on that adventure of permaculture, where the whole world is open to you to create a place where we have sustainable food production, beauty and abundance around us in our gardens and in our communities and where we help restore the entire planet and we bring ethical, compassionate ways of living as human beings for all people on the planet. So please be encouraged. I hope you're encouraged. I hope if you're new at permaculture, you help an old uh, veteran like me gain some new perspectives and gain some new energy. I would love to connect with you. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can check out my Patreon in the description. Please subscribe and uh, you can check the little bell to get an alert every time I make a new video.